What up, what up? Movers, what up? Am I live? Welcome to the new week, y'all. Movers, what up? Christian, I see you, kid. Who we got in the building? Rob Love, I see you, big brother. Thanks for having me on your show the other night. What up, y'all? This is Movers time. Monday night motivation. Y'all know what we do. Just a little inspiration to get us through the work week. We celebrate Mondays. We celebrate another chance to get it right. Y'all give me the energy. You give me the strength. And I hope I give it right back to y'all. Troy, what up? I see you in the building. I see a lot of people here, but I can't recognize everybody's name. So type your name in. Like real talk. Type your name in if, if, if your handles are spelled a little bit different. Christina, what up? Oh, man, we got Orlando in the building. We got Florida in the building. So how we doing it tonight? What up, y'all? It's that Monday night motivation. I'm going to tell you, it's crazy because I'm always nervous when I get on these lives. But at the same time, I look forward to it. I look forward to these Monday nights. It's 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 an opportunity for me to get over my own fears. It's an opportunity for me to just step up and do what I'm encouraging everybody else to do out there. Real talk. Sam Smite, what up? I see you. Ho, oh, Joel, what up, kid? Welcome to Monday Night Motivation. This is our community. All of the movers, all of the movers. This is our community, y'all. We're going to keep encouraging each other. I love it. Who else we got in the building tonight? I can't tell you. If, 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 if your name is not in the handle, you got to type your name out real quick. Sandra, what up? See, Sandra Smith just joined in. If your name's not in your handle, please type it in. But again, y'all, like I said, I'm always, I'm always nervous getting on these lives. I want to make sure I give y'all the right energy to start off the week. I want to make sure I get the right energy in return to get my week started. So, you know, let's just keep motivating each other. Please keep spreading the word. Please keep sharing. Letting people know what we're doing every Monday night, 7 p.m. Every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. This is what we do. This is our community, y'all, and we're going to keep growing it. I promise y'all, I'm not stopping until this community is huge. So we're going to start from humble beginnings. Y'all know as movers, that's what we do. We see the big picture before anybody else sees it. This is why we in here. Because... People don't understand us. People don't understand what it is to see a vision that nobody else can see. That's what we're doing here. Who else we got real quick? Oh, man, Dakota, what up? I see you in the building, kid. Joy, I see you. Yeah, but we'll give it another minute or two, and we're going to keep it moving. And we just, I mean, this is Monday Night Motivation. I'll put it up in my stories. If y'all are here from, if you're not here from the beginning, y'all will be able to just catch it right there on my feed. And I just want everybody to, to, to like, please, if you can, share this, spread it. We need it. We going through a rough time. It's COVID's out of control. The economy is not where it's supposed to be, but we still here dreaming of something bigger. We still here understanding that all of what's going on in this world. It don't apply to us. We we different. We really, really are. So, is that my man? Who we got there? I thought it was your man. Oh, no, that's Jason Standard. Jay Standard, what up? SNS Graphics. I see you, brother. See a lot of y'all in the building, and I love it. I love it. Let's keep spreading the word. But real quick. Because honestly, I like to do these Monday night motivations, just something to set us off on a week, and then we get back to what we're doing. So, you know, I'm a firm believer, and I believe in all my heart and all my soul that the people that we become, the people who we are right now, 
it has very little to do with our DNA construct. Yes, you know, your mom might have good genes and your dad might have good genes. But truth of the matter is, I don't believe that that is what makes us the people who we are. I truly believe in my heart and in my soul that the people we become has to do with all of the circumstances, the trials and the tribulations that we go through and how we handle it. Because everybody goes through situations, everybody goes through trials, tribulations, but everybody don't handle it the same way. Some people come out on the other end broke. Some people come out on the other end and they're less of a person than they went into it with. And I truly believe it's how you handle those situations makes you the person that you are today and the person that you will become. And I think back to myself, right? Because I know plenty of very successful people, people who were born into wealth. People, if they were in this live right now, they were born with more zeros in their bank account than every one of us in this live, this minute, this second put together. But they are entitled. They are unambitious. They are a poverty mindset like I have never seen just because you have money in the bank does not necessarily mean that you don't have a poverty mindset. And then on the other hand, I've seen people who were born into nothing, had to work, scrape, scratch, and steal every single thing that they've gotten in this life. But for some odd reason, they figure out a reason to get up in the morning. They figure out a reason to go at it one more round. They refuse to take no for an answer. And I remember when I was young, y'all, and my mother, I can't think of a day, a time, when that woman didn't work at least two jobs. She had seven kids and had no support in the house whatsoever. And finally, she meets a guy who was supposed to come in and give her that extra 50-50, that 50% he was supposed to bring to the table. And instead of loving and honoring her, he loved and honored that get high just a little bit more. He loved and honored that hair on just a little bit more. And me watching, being a young man, I don't even know if I was in the second or third grade at the time. I'm looking at this guy and I'm looking at my mother's struggle and I said to myself, you know what, Sean, you got to step up. You got to be the man in this house. And I remember going out there and I had older brothers and I'm sure they was thinking the same thing. And I remember going out there. I'm too young to get a job. So I was doing anything I could possibly get tips for. So whether it was shoveling snow, pumping gas or packing bags at the local supermarket, I did anything and everything to make a little bit of money. And every day I would get out of school, I would go and I would pack those bags, I would pump gas, do whatever, and I would bring those tips home. And I remember bringing the tips home. And I had this, this, you know, those five gallon jugs, those five gallon water jugs. And I would put my little tips in there every single day and I would fill it up, fill it up. And I would, you know, hide it in the house and I would try to make sure because I wanted to really take care of my mother. I wanted to make sure she had car fare going to work. I wanted to make sure she had lunch money, anything I can do to help our situation out. And I remember like it was about a week or two before that five gallon jug was about to be filled up with tip money. And I went to school, went to work that day, came home, and I looked in the normal place and that jug wasn't there. So I'm searching the house. I'm going through all through the house. And I'm looking, where's like where's my money at? And when I found the jug, everything was gone. And I mean everything was gone. It wasn't a quarter, a penny, a dime, or a nickel left in there. The jug was there, but the money was gone. I didn't even have to ask who took the money. We knew it. And in my little heart, in my little mind, I was crying and I'm hurt. And my mother's looking me in the face because she knew that wasn't Sean's money. That was our money. That was money to help her out. And it was like, what can she say? And I, I remember sitting there and about three, four days later, homeboy come home 
after he's binging and after he done got high and he comes strolling in the house and never once said, I'm sorry. Never once said, do as I say, not as I do. Never once said, I have a problem. I got a real problem. And I want you to grow up and be a respectable man. Don't be like me. Instead, he act like it never happened. But what he didn't know, what he didn't know is, yes, I cried. Yes, I was heartbroken. But the day after he took that money, I was back in that supermarket packing bags like a madman. I was bringing that tip money back home and I was starting all over again. He couldn't break me. That situation couldn't break me. And I'm trying to explain to y'all, it don't matter what the situation is. It don't matter what you're going through. I was 10 years old at the time, but I learned something. And I learned one of the greatest lessons about myself in that moment. I remember going to work and I'm packing them bags and just this epiphany happened. I learned something about myself that had become my truth. And as a 10, 11 year old boy learned his truth, I started to look out at people who were successful. And I knew that they learned that same truth about themselves. I started to look at every champion and every winner and every success story. They had learned that same damn truth. My truth was I'm different. It's just that simple. You're not going to break me. You don't have it in you. My tolerance for pain is higher than yours. My capacity to take more suffering, it's greater than yours. No situation is ever gonna break me because I'm built different. I'm just built different. And these trials and these tribulations that we go through, all of the things that we, like, people been going through this since the beginning of time. We supposed to go through it. Do y'all understand that? This is not unique to us. It's not unique to people in America. It's not unique to people overseas. As a human race, we're supposed to go through it. In the Bible, they was going through those trials and those tribulations. If you go to 1 Peter 4 and 12, the apostle wrote, think it not strange when tried with fiery trials. He didn't say think it not strange when tried with little trials or, you know, just some bumps in the road. He said fiery trials. That means you are going to go through something in this life. You are going to go through something that is going to damn near break you. But you can get through it and it's going to make you the person that you always wanted to become. You are not defined by what you go through. You are actually defined by how you handle it. You're defined by can you get knocked down and get back up? That's what defines us. And for all of y'all out there, y'all are movers. Do you get this? You are movers. We are one and the same. I understand you and you understand me. We are movers, so stop trying to get their approval. Stop trying to get their validation. Stop trying to ask for their opinion. Who cares about their opinion? They don't understand you. And if they ever said that they understand you, take it as a disrespect. Because that means you're not working hard enough. I take it as the biggest insult when somebody tells me, Sean, I get it. Like, like, I understand why you work so... No, you don't. You ain't never put in the hours I put in. You ain't never stayed up the nights I stayed up. You don't understand me because I'm different. And for any mover who's on this live right now, embrace the fact that you are different. You're cut from a different cloth. It don't matter where you come from. It don't matter what's going on in your life, what the circumstances look like. It's... How am I going to react to those circumstances? Because truth be told, nothing in my life told me I could ever be here right now hosting a live with fellow movers. Nothing. I remember my mother sending me to the store with booklets of food stamps. This is long before the benefit cards. And if any of y'all go back to them booklets of food stamps, y'all know how embarrassing that was. The money you had green $10 bills and red $5 bills 
in orange $20 bills. It was no way to hide that. It was nothing in my life, nothing in my circumstances that told me I could be here, that I could overcome. But I am different. I'm not built the same and neither are y'all. So please, whatever it is that you find yourself going through, whatever it is that you have been working on, and it seems like you've been working on this thing forever, you have yet to close that deal, stand strong. Stand strong. It's on the way. But you're different from everybody else. And you got to believe that. You got to know that. These circumstances that we go through, yes, it is biblical. You're supposed to go through it. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Go read your Bible. But truth of the matter is, it's how you handle these circumstances that makes you a mover. So like I said, on Mondays, I like to keep it short and sweet, y'all. This is something I just wanted to get off my chest. And I wanted to really just put something out there because I always try to speak words that I pray and I hope that any of y'all on the other end of this live can just feel from my heart to your heart. Whatever situation, circumstances you're going through right this second, I hope that this gave you just a little bit of a battery in your back. To be like, yo, you know what? He's right. I ain't the same. I don't know about them, but I'm different. Yes, we are all different. So before I close it out, y'all, this week, I got an incredible interview with my man, Jamil Spencer, marketing guru. This guy has worked with Dame, Puff, Jay-Z, so many, you know, he, he he founded the Blue Flame Company with Puff. So many accolades. And he's given up so many gems for free. So please, go ahead on over to YouTube. The full interview is there. And we're going to be putting segments of the interview up every single day this week on the Instagram feed. Wednesday night, 7 p.m., y'all. Let's keep making power moves together. I love y'all. And I guess I'll close it out here. All right. One love, y'all. See y'all on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's stop holding this to ourselves. Share the information. Share the information. All right. One, y'all. Peace.